Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Modern Mining. Today I may have some good news for GPU miners. It's been a while since we actually got some good news, so it's certainly welcome. So Rabbit Mining was doing a video the other day, basically the fight versus the entity begins. And if you're not aware, the entity is all the hash rate that's been going on to coins like Pyron. It's been going on to coins like Carlson, Radiant. Now, the entity has kind of been revealed as the new Dragon Ball ASIC, but I'm not so sure that that same Dragon Ball company is the company that has all the hash rate on Pyron and Carlson because the ASIC that Dragon Ball is releasing is Elephium and Radiant. It has nothing to do with Pyron or Carlson. So that's somewhat confusing, and I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think there's still another sort of unaccounted for party that we really don't know who they are yet. But regardless, Rabbit's video was about the fight versus the entity. Basically, a lot of these GPU mineable coins are starting to kind of fight back and change their algorithm. The thought being that maybe this entity will stop hitting these coins if as soon as they get on them, the coins fork and change their algorithm and then the entity has to spend a lot more time getting their hardware program to run the new algorithm so overall though this will be good for gpu miners because coins like pyron and carlson that have basically been eliminated from gpu mining should be coming back and they should be coming back soon so real quickly pyron i believe is switching algorithms on the 12th of september Carlson, I believe, is on the 13th, and Husat, I'm not sure of the exact date yet. I think it's a little bit after um, Regal Miner and the other miners haven't actually set up the miner for Husat, so I believe maybe that's what they're waiting on, but don't quote me on that. So I watched Rabbit's video, and it covered basically everything I just said, but my main question was how much actual profits is that going to bring back to GPU mining? Are we going to see a 10% increase in profits? Are we going to see a 30% increase in profits? That's what I wanted to know. So really quickly, let's take a look at what mining profits are kind of like today. I'm only going to look at Zealous because that's basically the only profitable GPU mineable coin right now if you're paying residential electricity. And my favorite column on mining pool stats is the emissions column. You can see that every single day, Bitcoin pays out $26 million in new mined Bitcoin. So that's actually pretty insane. Zealous, on the other hand, pays out $66,000, which is very good as well, for especially for a GPU mineable coin. So really, GPU miners are splitting about $66,000 a day in profits. And there's some other stuff that goes into it, like Ravencoin is here at 57 but I, I don't know if those people are on solar or what, but I don't know how anyone is mining Ravencoin and making a profit on it. So Zealous is what we're gonna take into account today. So $66,000, that's our base profitability. Once all these coins come back, Pyron, Husat, Carlson, what is our daily emissions gonna be for GPU miners? And that's what we're gonna calculate. So stay tuned, let's get into it. So let's go ahead and pull up a calculator and just put um, 66,000 in here. That's our current profitability. And now let's figure out what the emissions are of coins like Carlson and Pyron. So if you just type in Carlson, we can click on this and we can see emissions is 4.88K. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 5k to this and actually I'm just gonna do it from scratch so 5,000 now we need to check Pyron and this is where I ran into some issues so wow it's actually looks like it's fixed so emissions of uh, Pyron is $12,000 so we're gonna add 12,000 here Earlier when I had checked this, and I believe it was related to the 10 blocks per second fiasco that happened, but this emissions field was not calculated. So I actually had to go into the Discord and get them to give me a rough idea of what the emissions actually were. So let's compare his numbers real quick. The devs said that about 959,000 coins are generated every day. So let's 
compare that number to the number on mining pool stats and see if mining pool stats is accurate. So this many coins are generated per day, but we need to know the price of Pyron. So we'll go to CoinGecko and look up Pyron on here. And we can just take that number and put it into right here. Take our comma out. So $11,500, that is very similar to what Pyron was. So with Pyron and Carlson, we're getting about $17,000 back to GPU miners. Now we need to check who sat. And let's see if this one is in here now. Emissions question mark. So this is what Pyron used to look like. Um, and I also went into the who sat discord and got some information from those guys. And it's pretty disappointing. I didn't realize how down bad Husat was. Um, let's see. The missions of Husat are $400. That is pretty sad. So, and the reason for that is because they say it's somewhere in here. So the reason for that is that Husat's at 100K market cap and Carlson's at 2.2 million. I didn't realize those were so different, but who sat is basically so small it's not even going to make a difference but we'll go ahead and add it on here anyway so plus 400 so what percentage extra is this on the 66k that we're getting currently so if i go back to the missions to see zealous again and we do 66,000 plus 17,400, 83,000, so 17,400 divided by 83,400. It's about 20% extra profits that we're gonna be getting in the next, it's the seventh today, and you guys will be seeing this video a little after this, so within the next five days, we're gonna be getting a 20% bump in GPU profits. And how that works, because you're probably still gonna be mining Zealous, but some people are going to drop off Zealous to mine Pyron and Carlson again, and that's gonna raise our profits on Zealous. The cool thing about crypto mining is everything sort of balances out. So if Hashrate NO says that Pyron is most profitable, then more people are gonna leave Zealous and hop onto Pyron. Same thing with Carlson until everything kind of levels out and assuming the entity can't get back on these coins for a while, we should be seeing about a 20% bump in profits, which is gonna be amazing. And this also doesn't take into account coin price. So if the coins tank from here, it's not gonna be 20%, but if they go up from here, then we could see 30 or 40% increase in profits. So that's very good news because ever since the entity came online, I have been very down on GPU mining, unfortunately. And the main thought is that for GPU mining to really be profitable again, we need a large market cap coin that's GPU mineable, um, somewhat like what Ethereum used to be. But the issue has been that as soon as a coin gets to a half decent market cap, it either gets hit by ASICs or it gets hit by the entity, which we assume is FPGAs. And then at that point, GPUs are basically kicked off the network. So that's why I love Zealous as a coin because the developers are very anti-ASIC and anti-FPGA. They've already changed the algorithm once. And if Zealous can start making some serious ground, then GPU mining could be back in a relatively good spot for people who have cheap power. So I wanted to quickly get this video out to you guys because that is some good news that's coming up. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone for joining the 5,000 subscribers um, giveaway. If you haven't joined the giveaway, click this link. I'm gonna probably give it two weeks before I do a random comment picker and ship that RX 5700 GPU out to the lucky winner. So. Thanks again for all the support, guys. Hit that like and subscribe on the way out. Keep on mining, and hopefully things are getting better soon. See you guys next time. Peace.